So how do you do it? Well, it goes a little something like this. First, we have to move the interior trim panels. Once you get that done, then you got to pull the weather stripping out of the way. And once you get the weather stripping out of the way, and you move a couple of wires, and then the real fun can begin. For this part of the operation, I would recommend putting a sheet over the seats so you don't get sparks all over them, because a sawzall and a grinder are required. All right, it's about 10 minutes later. Get the majority of the surface of it cut. Now I gotta get it cleaned up and get the inner structure pieces out so we can start fitting the new one in. And then by the time you're done, except for a little fine trimming, it'll look something like this. And this is the part where it gets a little labor intensive because you got to take the fender loose so you can move it out of the way and slip the other rocker panel up into place. And there's a lot of shit to move to get that fender loose. And there are those who say you should remove the doors for easier installation, but I figured out a way around that. And then after quite some time, after considerable screwing around and moving the inside pieces out of the way, you'll be ready to test fit your new rocker panel, which more than likely won't fit and you're gonna have to trim up anyway. And in this particular case, more than likely, something like that. This is why if you buy the factory replacement, plan on doing the cab corners as well. Because you ain't getting that shit up in there if you don't. At least why it's not all in one piece. But after considerable dinking around and pushing and pulling, and yes, maybe even a couple of mistakes. You should be able to get it into place. And remember to use the top line of the old rocker panel to line it all up so that everything will sit where it's supposed to be. And even though some welding has got to be done on the outside edges. I recommend rivets for the inside. It's a lot cleaner and it won't screw up the weather stripping when you put it back on there. And there is a little welding re required because when you leave the doors on, there's just certain places you ain't getting the drill. So, Basically, that's what we got. I got to cover it up with a little paint so it doesn't rust out right away. And bear in mind what it looked like before and what it looks like now. Because it may not be perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better than it was. And then after all that, you simply reverse the process. And eventually, you end up with something like this
Is it perfect? No. But it's better than it was. And that's always the aim here at Last Chance Auto Repair.